Now, I found a drug, what I could call a potentially miraculous drug that could be used to treat people who have had stroke and who are dealing with the daily struggles of movement, pain, right or left side numbness and the like. Welcome to Day Spring Life and Health Channel. This is Dr. Otin coming to you. Today we're going to talk about an important drug which is etanercept. Etanercept or Embryo uh, as we know it. Click on the subscribe button down and also click on the comments to ask questions and to contribute. If you are having a stroke and you don't get the person or the person doesn't get to the hospital as soon as possible, uh, there's little that can be done. I have seen observational videos of people who have been treated and who either immediately or with time have gained some of their functions back. In. So I want you to watch this with me and stay tuned, don't, don't quit this video. I want you to watch and we'll come back to discuss and we will explain why this drug must be studied more and be approved for regular use on the market. Can you please count from one to ten? Every minute of Linda Lumbra's daily life is a frustrating struggle. She suffered a stroke three years ago, which left this teacher barely able to walk or talk. Four, five. Doctors have told her this is how she'll be forever. <laughs> That's why Linda's travelled to this Florida clinic to try a controversial new stroke treatment. I can understand why you're, the speech just makes it very frustrating. It's her last shot. One injection of a drug called Etanacept into her spinal cord at the back of the neck. What's different? Ah. A brief few minutes pass to let the drug flow to her brain. Not even Lynn or the doctors here expect what happens next. Okay, did it look cloudy? Uh -huh. Okay, now it's clear. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh my god! It was a bullseye hit on the pathology that was interfering with her brain function. Yeah, you're doing fine. You're doing super fine. Using etanacept in this way on stroke patients is groundbreaking. Moments after the shot, she sits up. The change in Linda is something to behold. It, it's gone! Hi! Come on there! likely that she would improve. To improve almost back to normal was just spectacular and wonderful and gratifying and, and very, very moving to watch. Hi. How would you describe yourself before and then after the injection? It's just truly amazing. The change is absolutely miraculous. It's amazing. Every day, there seems to be something that's like, oh, oh, I can do that now. When they've received the treatment, have they read anything? Have they talked to any of us? Because I invite them to. I would tell them to take a look at me. 
how much more proof do you need? They think, it seems too good to be true, sounds too good to be true. But if you just look, there's no denying it. There's no doubt Linda's recovery is remarkable, but will it last? The short answer is nobody knows. There are no guarantees and no long-term research yet. Should the effects begin to wear off, patients like Linda say they're more than happy to return to Dr. Tobinick for another shot. <laughs> I, I, I'm not kidding. I wish we would recorded it before. <laughs> that is huge. Which we used to dance a lot and we couldn't dance. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we we have all seen that these people uh, who were treated by uh, this doctor have received or gained some functions back. Some of them, uh, the degree, the degree of, you know, a functional gain after the treatment, the, the degree of response after the treatment varies from patient to patient. From my little observation, I can tell that the more severe your stroke, the uh, the less you see the initial response. One in five of the people who gets the treatment may not respond. So one in five may not get any response. So the four people who will gain the response, uh, the response is uh, dependent on how bad, that is my observation from the videos I've watched, how bad it, the, 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 the stroke was, or how bad the, the brain damage was, if it was severely damaged, I think the response will be a little less than somebody who was able to get, get into the hospital quicker and got more brain cells saved. There's very little in the literature concerning this drug. All right, so what is the drug we're talking about here? This is what we, we all know as a embryo. For, for the most part, we refer to this drug as embryo, which is used to treat uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, so the drug, the ingredient name is etanercept. This is a biologic, and because of that, it is large. It's molecule. It's a molecule that is very large, unable to cross what we call the blood-brain barrier. There's a barrier between your brain and your blood, where if you want to treat anything in the brain, that drug must be small enough to be able to cross that particular bridge there. And um, this drug is so huge that you cannot take it or inject it and expect it to get into the brain where you need it to work that that is the reason why it requires a spinal injection inject it there directly into uh, the spine the spinal cord right over there uh, kind of inverted so that uh, gravity will help with the, with the draining of the of the drug into the brain and once that is done it starts to work immediately that is what i have seen from the observations uh, of the videos uh, I've watched more videos than I can show concerning this, but uh, you can tell that once that is injected, within minutes, it starts going into the brain and starts working. It's a tumor necrosis factor inhibitor, which inhibits inflammation in the damaged brain, whether it is by uh, due to an accident or due to a stroke. So the inflamed brain has the inflammation going on in the brain is due to TNF, in short, tumor necrosis factor TNF so when this drug is injected and it goes into the brain it comes on the inflammatory response and by doing that the brain begins to do what it has to do again and that is why we see the response now it sounds as simple but uh, there could be more to it than we know currently if it was studied so now why is it that um, this drug has not been studied it has not been studied basically I, I would say due to three or maybe two reasons the first one is because big pharma or the pharmaceutical companies who, who hold uh, 
the patent to etanercept have not really invested themselves into it. You need money, you need um, uh, you need resources to be able to do a, a serious clinical trial to validate these observations that have been seen in people. And for that, these companies are the ones that could lead that effort at studying etanercept for stroke. But none of them so far has shown any interest in doing that and that baffles me. I mean, if you, if you think about how many people are going to be helped by this, even if it is a few people, just imagine the lady you saw in the video. American Academy of Neurolo Neurology are also putting out statements that discourage the use of etanercept in stroke patients. Um, I would think that they should at least give it a shot, getting some of their own members to do an observational study, just for a first and, um, understanding of how this uh, uh, drug would work in a stroke patient before they came out with, uh, with such um, a conclusion. Why would the Academy of Neurology not promote the studying of this drug? The only reason they said it, it, it's not being studied, it's, it has not been a clinical trial. Well, I looked up and I saw there was uh, two clinical trials. One in 2020, that article was uh, published. The article is a, a randomized double blind control. That article is a randomized double blind control clinical trial of a perispinal etanercept for chronic stroke improved mobility and pain alleviation and in this trial uh, the method that they used was they grouped two um, they had two groups one group which were using the etanercept injection perispinal injection and then the other group who were getting saline injections so the placebo or the uh, um, the control group was using saline and the other group was using etanercept and the the results were clear. I mean, statistically significant difference between um, people with, with, with the stroke patients with etanercept perispinal injection and stroke patients uh, with uh, no uh, injection of the drug. Perispinal etanercept reduced mean levels of worst and average daily pain from baseline after two treatments and also pain alleviation was maintained in a etanercept group with no significant change in the control group which is the saline group 30 percent of the etanercept participants had near complete pain abatement after first treatment near complete pain abatement after, after the treatment and also uh, they concluded that perspinal etanercept can provide significant and ongoing benefits for the chronic post-stroke management of pain and greater shoulder flexion by the paretic arm. Effects, of, effects are rapid and are highly significant, supporting direct action on brain function. If you wanted a, a cure or a, a treatment which is touting such a significant um, response and improvement, why wouldn't anybody study it for a longer period with many more people to ascertain the validity of these claims. Dr. Car Caroly Graham in Australia in 2015 in Queensland, Australia um, with the help of private funding, you know, people chipping in here and there as an individual uh, did uh, study this drug in some patients and uh, they also found out that uh, they did. It, it was also a placebo-controlled double-blind uh, clinical uh, trial, and they, they also found that the perispinal perispinal etanercept for chronic intractable central post-stroke pain was very effective. It was very effective at reducing uh, pain due to stroke. Some of again, if you have a stroke patient who cannot even tell you they have pain and you have such a great pain relief that is that is very significant in, uh, in 30 minutes nearly complete pain relief 
in such in, in those patients they had in 30 minutes on average in 30 minutes some of the patients had near complete pain relief or near complete pain abatement uh, while there was no change in the ceiling group no change in the ceiling group and about 90 percent of the euthanasia group showed improvements in active and passive shoulder flex about 90 percent of the people who received the treatment were able if they want to actively move their shoulders or flex it they were able to do it and then if they were passive they were not trying to move it it was still able to move by itself if they had to do something so uh and then they also say that it also indicated less spasticity of the arm muscle and these are two studies that i found after <laughs> or the, the the numerous search i did there's also um an evidence well observational evidence that etanercept um injection a perispinal injection of etanercept also helps in alzheimer's disease but i didn't uh, look up for alzheimer's i was just concentrating on stroke after the video that i watched and there is every reason to believe that if more studies are done we could reach a better conclusion um and not just that i know the conclusion is going to be just like these uh simple um ones that have been found in these two studies but i i believe that would enable a, the drug to be approved by the fda for use in such cases as stroke so that people can get the benefit of the drug now in my own conclusion is that big pharma or the big pharmaceutical companies who especially those who hold the patents should sponsor large-scale studies on a long-term basis to verify and ascertain all the observational studies out there which claim and of course some of whom have been recorded on video there are certain things i know there's a placebo effect but if you have placebo controlled studies two of whom have been cited here and you have results that are statistically significant there's no way we should not study this drug on a large-scale basis uh, for potential fda approval and use in patients just think about it if you had uh, somebody in your family who was debilitated by stroke and an injection could help them to start walking again or start writing again or start speaking again as in the videos we saw would you just wait and wait and wait and say that well studies have not been done well do the studies for goodness sake do the studies because people are suffering if you don't believe it is working if those observations and the videos you have seen are not enough for you what is preventing you from doing the studies do the studies and let us see so that the fda can approve it so big pharmaceutical companies who have the patents to etanercept let's do those studies we demand action now also the american academy of neurology should get out of the way of uh even neurologists who may be potentially interested in using on trying etanercept on their uh, stroke patients those who have been struggling with the aftermath of stroke after years of uh, of struggle to to live with it i implore you to also demand action of your neurologist i think if you lift your voice up ask your neurologist have you seen this video have you seen people who had been stroke uh, uh ridden who, who had had stroke for eight years for three years for five years who all of a sudden have had symptom improvement who all of a sudden are able to work better uh, all of a sudden are able to speak and write better have you seen this this video demand them ask them questions and by so doing they will even if not give it to you at least be interested in studying it for broader use in the future thank you for watching you love it i wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers